everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we are so excited to be back with you all um, on this side of the new year um, to be able to celebrate and to commemorate such an incredible uh, holiday season. Um, so much, so many things that we're going to be able to share out today and be able to connect with you on. But first and foremost, I uh, want to recognize some of our esteemed uh, leaders that are here with us today. I uh, want to give honor and respect, of course, to our mayor, the mayor, uh, mayor of the city of Denver, Mayor Michael B. Hancock. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today and for your continued support. Um, we also want to recognize uh, President Gif Gifford Nielsen, uh, who oversees the affairs of the Church of, Lat uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the central United States and Canada. I also want to recognize Pastor Craig uh, McElroy, um, and then Elder Bali as well. So just thank you so much for, for everybody who's attending here today. Uh, but there's, there's a, a famous passage in Acts chapter 20, verse 35, and it basically says, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And we're here to celebrate that spirit of generosity here today. Um, but before we get kicked off, um, just want to say thank you to everybody who's in attendance today, all of our nonprofit community members who are joining, and those of you who are tuning in and watching um, being able to participate as we really able to, were able to celebrate the incredible Light the World Giving campaign that took place in 2021. Um, but that being said, I would love to bring to the podium uh, none other than Elder Bali to be able to uh, introduce today and to be able to share some incredible things about Light the World. Thank you, Charles. It's wonderful to be with all of you and Mayor again. We are so appreciative of all you do and and for the way you serve our community and serving and helping with this great campaign. So again, thanks to all of you for being with us today. It, it is a, a gift and a blessing. Let me take just a moment and just kind of rehearse where we've been. You know that in 2021, the Giving Machine uh, uh, theme was Come Back, Give Back, and Light the World. And today, I'm just going to highlight a couple of ways that together we made that happen. So you know that in November we came together in this very room to kick off the, uh, the, this initiative. And today we get to celebrate the generosity of our neighbors and friends. The, uh, we then came together for the grand unwrapping. And we felt a lot of energy there, thanks to all of you and, and the groups that you represent. One of the wonderful ways that this energy was generated was the entertainment that you, you all brought to, uh, to Ryder Square. That was uh, really a blessing. I was there for some of that and enjoyed it so very much. There were 79 groups that came, 20 of which were schools, and they, um, they did a marvelous job. Those schools are all wanting to come back and, and participate again with us next year. We had the, the media was terrific and being engaged with us. Uh, I'm told that we had as many as 27 million uh, different instances where by, by um, television, radio, and print media that people heard the message of the giving machines. When I heard the number, I actually challenged Amy on that number that if that could really be accurate, and, and it is. And so we're grateful for the way the media supported us as well. This, this really becomes the important story this is where individuals came together and we saw some wonderful things and I've heard many uh, very touching stories where grandparents with their grandchildren came. In one case it was a granddaughter that engaged in a bake sale to raise money to then come with her grandmother and participate. We heard of, of a, uh, a wonderful waitress that had received a hundred dollar tip and wanted to pay that forward and so that was marvelous to see. Also others that had been previously homeless that came and wanted to engage in, in giving back. And so that's, that's really one of the great stories of the giving machines. And then finally, I, I think this is really the story. Together, there were 17,240 individuals and families that were gifted something in the process. Now, it, it may have been small or it may have been life-changing. But today we want to recognize all of you for the work you do in our community, for the lives that you blessed. And I have to tell you that we're grateful that we were able to participate with you. And so the story is about the work you do, the lives you change, 
and so pleased to have been a part of it. So thank you so very much. Elder Nielsen. Thank you, Rick. We really appreciate your wonderful leadership here in Denver and everything you've done. Craig McElroy here is, uh, he's had a vision of this and has put together so many different uh, groups to make this all happen. And we couldn't do it without you, Mayor. Thank you so much. We feel like we have a, a tremendous friendship with you and we have vision with you and that's exactly what Light the World is all about. Charles started by a scripture out of Acts and it was beautiful, Charles, that you would mention that because when we think about Light the World, I think it's very interesting, and I mentioned this, I think, in the kickoff, about how the Savior was the self-proclaimed light of the world. But if you look in Matthew chapter 5, in that beautiful setting where he was teaching, he invited all of us in, in the Sermon on the Mount to be like him. He said, ye are the light of the world. And I just think, wow, we have a chance to be like the self-proclaimed Savior of the world, and so we come together in this Light the World campaign to do something good for other people, do something good for communities. And like has been mentioned, some of our charities are here. You work tirelessly to lift and build other people. And for that, we're so grateful. So for us to be involved with uh, Mayor Hancock and all of the people here in the greater Denver area and do it having fun is an enjoyable thing for us. I can remember I bought my first goat. I'd never bought a goat before when I went to the giving machine. And I bought my first goat and I bought some chickens and I just had the best time and we were out there buying them together, Mayor, so thank you. You should be very proud of what Denver has accomplished because this is, the giving machines are not only to benefit local charities but also help worldwide. Just want to tell you a couple of things that you have done here in Denver to help worldwide in this campaign and Amy thank you so much for putting all these notes together but this is pretty profound for all of us you have provided clothing for 20,000 children you don't even know that but for 20,000 children they were getting clothing you're paying for polio vaccines for 837,000 people and you think okay I'm not buying a goat what am I buying a goat for wow to to help people with polio vaccines how about this we helped here in Denver because of your generosity and your care. We helped 80,000 families with nutrition and income by giving them chickens, and I helped with the chickens, okay? We supplied over 10,000 uh, feminine hygiene kits to keep young girls in school. You'd think, well, why would we do that? Well, we did that because education is so important for our young sisters. We fed people with more than 1.7 million meals and 14,000 boxes of fresh produce. Can you imagine what is happening with them as we lift them and the influence they have as they go out into their communities just by doing a little bit here, small things become great things. So we're so grateful for all the support we had here in Denver. This has been so enjoyable. We put smiles on our faces as we participated. We had a great time, but you need to know Denver the impact that you've had, not only here locally, but with other organizations around the world. And with that, Mayor Hancock, thank you so much. We just love your enthusiasm. You talk about someone who likes the world, it's you. Here you go. I want to thank you so very much. I want to thank uh, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Thank you so very, very much, uh, President Nielsen, Elder Baldwin. Uh, my good friend, Craig McElroy, thank you so much for everything that you've done uh, to bring us to this point. And to Charles Gilbert, who is a member of my staff and has just led such, I tell him he has his hand on everything. Uh, he pulls together regional mayors for me. He, he puts together key uh, faith leaders for me. He helps put this effort on. Uh, he's a key member of staff, a trusted friend, and I'm grateful he is here. Uh, congratulations to all of you. Uh, I want those stats, uh, President Nielsen, if you would. I'd love to give them to our comms department. Because I think the people of Denver need to hear what they accomplished before, during the holiday season in terms of helping people around the world. We'd love to push those out uh, for you. We, we'll make sure we do that. We'll make sure we do that. Uh, $475,786 was raised uh, as part of this effort. Uh, people going to those machines, little young people giving, those, giving that machines, grandparents, 
as uh, I think Elder Molly so appropriately pointed out, when we started this effort, the power of looking at what I saw in Salt Lake City and saying, I want to bring this to Denver, the real crux of that was looking at it going, anybody can give. You know, it, it could be as little as a dollar. Um, and to be able to walk away and say, I just bought a goat. <laughs> uh, provided some chickens to someone or energy to a family or fresh water to a family that does, does not receive it today or as close as uh, I think President Nielsen pointed out um, a young lady who's in school who needs a hygiene kit um, to maintain her sense of privacy and dignity um, this is a powerful campaign and one in which when I leave this office and turn the lights off will be one of the most proud moments and proud events and initiatives that we've ever undertaken. Because, and I appreciate the scripture that you laid out, you know what my devotion was this morning? Was James 1.12, that the greatest religion of all, of all yes. is to care for the widows and orphans of our community. Yes. And I, I am grateful for um, the ability to give back, to use this office to say we can make a difference. Uh, and I'm glad to live in a city um, where people say, you know what, we can give a little bit. We can share a little bit. This was a, I just want to end on this story, this was a blessing to see. This, to see $475,000 donated, and so many people impacted. Um, about December, I don't know, 15-ish, uh, Saturday before Christmas, I was at home, had nothing scheduled for today, and my phone rings. And it just so happens to be a friend of mine who just so happens to be a very, very wealthy man. And he says, listen, I've got $100,000. And immediately my mind jumped to, for me? <laughs> he says, I want to give it out before Christmas. Yes. $100,000. I want it to go to families who need it, who need food, who need gifts. And immediately I thought, how in the world are we going to, to be told, you got a, you got 10 days to spend $100,000. <laughs> now, I know a lot of people do that without blinking. <laughs> but we did it. Matter of fact, within 24 hours, all the money had been committed because there was such a need in our community. And but we can, could not have done it had it not been organizations already postured in place to distribute and to take care of families. And so you're critical. You're the heartbeat of our city. When crises and challenges hit our city uh, or any community, you're the first one they turn to. And actually, when things get tough economically, you're the first ones who are hit first economically. So you have the, the dichotomy of a challenge. Uh, I'm grateful that you were doing what you were doing so that when we were ready to, to bring this effort to Denver, you could raise your hand and say, here am I, uh, send me. And I'm grateful that you've made a difference in the life of our city. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you again to the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints for your partnership. I'm honored to be a part of your family and to be in partnership with you every day. Thank you very much. All right, family. At this time, we'll have Pastor Craig McElroy come up to uh, talk about each individual organization. And thank you again, Mayor, for, for your heart, for your leadership. Without your willingness, um, these kind of activities and this kind of generosity and the spirit of Denver wouldn't be able to be manifest in the way. So thank you, sir, for your leadership and your legacy, sir. Thanks, Gerald. Well, this is, uh, this is our big uh, opportunity. We've got to recognize each of you and... Uh, get a chance to get a photo so Dwayne if you'd come up and help us out with plaques mayor and elder Nielsen elder Bali uh, if you'd come up we'd love just to get a photo with each of our charities we'll start with our friends at the Crowley Foundation okay. yeah. the Crowley Foundation our friends at Crowley deliver mentoring life skills and career preparation for teens and young men of color they receive 1257 items and $39,040. We also included 523 haircuts. I wanted to just get in line. Next, we've got our friends at Denver Rescue Mission. Denver Rescue Mission has been a perennial charity of giving back in Denver. They provide emergency shelter, meals, and help for people experiencing homelessness. Denver Rescue Mission received 2,952 items and were able to generate over $100,000, including 865 winter coats and 845 socks for those in need. Thank you, thank you. Our, 
Our friends from JFS are next. They support vulnerable people of all ages and backgrounds with food security, employment support, and counseling. We were able to generate 2,015 items for them, and they uh, were able to raise $49,600, including 770 weeks worth of diapers. Thank you. And there we go. And then finally, uh, Project Worthmore. Project Worthmore has been working overtime, helping refugees arrive and settle here in Denver, providing culturally appropriate food, job assistance, English classes, and dental care. Project Worthmore was able to generate 2,761 items and $64,000 of value. Thank you, thank you. Now, if, if we can all stretch the line, we need to all come back up for one big, long photo. Charles, you got to jump in on this you, one, too. I got you, I got you. Yeah, looks just like it. <laughs>